Hey guys, it's Juliet that Hoppa Chick, and I'm doing In My Mailbox, which is hosted by Christy over at the Story Siren. I haven't been able to do In My Mailbox for like the past three or so weeks, so there's quite a lot of stuff to get through, but I will try to make it as short as possible. And it's good stuff, so it's worth it, I promise. I'm gonna start with this stuff that I've purchased recently. I bought a set of Scott Westerfeld's um, Uglies trilogy, Uglies, Pretties, and Specials. Got this off of eBay for nine bucks, so it was like three bucks per book, which was an awesome deal. And I got a paperback set. Um, you may or may not know that I like normally don't really like paperbacks, but this series, every once in a while there's like a series or a certain book where it like feels like I should have it in paperback, and that's how I felt about this series. So got the paperback set and I got this because Scott Westerfeld is coming to my local and my local I mean like 45 minutes away local independent bookstore and so I'm gonna get these signed I'm so excited and I'm also buying another copy of uglies for him to sign so I can give it away for to you guys part of my vlog anniversary giveaways which start tomorrow so be sure to come back and check those out there's a ton of giveaways all week long and it's really exciting. So yeah, uglies, which have the creepiest spines in the world. I don't know what the designers were thinking, but like spines with like lips, eyes, and ears is like really scary. Plus the fact that the eye here looks particularly like an eye that's like, I'm watching you. Like, I don't know, it's just like, ugh. Weird. But anyway, um, next I purchased a copy of A.S. King's Please Ignore Veridites because A.S. King is coming on Thursday for a book signing and so I'm gonna get this signed. I'm so excited. I love this book and I can't wait to meet her. I'm like, <laughs> And The Maze Runner by James Dashner, who's also coming to Arizona later this month. Um, I only bought books for signings because that was the only way I could rationalize buying them. <laughs> but anyway. I already have the Scorch Trials, so I got the Maze Runner, and I'll probably buy the Death Cure at his signing. I'm very excited. And next, I'm going to do books that I got from the library, starting with Hourglass by Myra McIntyre. This is a book about time travel, I believe. Time travel and kind of some paranormal stuff. It sounds really interesting. It's kind of a mystery, if I remember correctly. Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chopsky. I got this because I've been meaning to read it for a while and now a movie is coming out and I told myself you cannot watch the movie until you read the book and so I must read the book first. I'm very excited for the movie because it's got Emma Watson in it and Logan Lerman and I just love Logan Lerman because he's really cute. <laughs> the Fox Inheritance by Mary E. Pearson. This is the sequel to The Adoration of Jenna Fox and I'm very excited to read it even with the creepy eye cover. I feel like people design this because they just want to be creepy, I don't know what they're thinking or if they're like, we'll put an eye on the cover and it'll just stare the reader into submission. It's like, why? I have no idea. Enclave by Anne Aguirre. This is a dystopian novel and it sounds really good. Um, I'm sure I'm going to like it because it says, for fans of The Hunger Games, it's definitely me. So yes, the back is also very lovely creepy hand coming up out of the sewer like blood dripping off of it this is the most testosterone driven cover i have ever seen probably and yet the protagonist is a female i find that very ironic 10 things we did and probably shouldn't have by sarah milanowski this is a cover that looks almost like the people are like brother and sister it's like an incest cover i'm like lovely but it's not the most incesty cover ever. The most incesty cover is I'm Not That Kind of Girl by Shoban Vivian. Google it and tell me it does not look like incest. It's like, it's, it's hilarious. I'm like, you really couldn't get models who looked less like siblings? I don't know. But anyway, normally I'm not a big fan of reading books that have people on the cover that look like they're about to start making out. But the premise of this book sounds awesome. It's about a group of teens who are living alone in a house without any parents and all sorts of crazy stuff happens including like they buy a hot tub hot tubs for the win clean by amy reed this is um about a group of teenagers who are drug addicts and they're in rehab i'm very excited to read it i've always been very interested in the subject of like drug addiction even though i've never had a problem with drug addiction and i've never known anyone who had a problem with drug addiction but it's still very interesting to me i don't know why 
Plus, I love the cover. It's very clean and yet, like, enticing. So, yeah. The Liar Society by Lisa and Laura Roker. Um, Lisa and Laura Roker are the bomb. And so I'm so excited to read this. It's a mystery about how this girl, her friend, died. And then she starts, like, sending her emails. So, yeah. It sounds very cool. At first, I saw the cover and I was like, that looks really cheesy. But then I read about it and I was like, okay, now it sounds awesome. And the authors are awesome, so it has to be amazing. Don't judge a book by its cover. Ashes, Ashes by Joe Tricchiari. This is another dystopian. The world has ended. What comes next? We shall see. I'm very excited for this one. And The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens by Sean Covey. This is for my speed reading program because I have to read nonfiction. And I figured I'd read something I was actually wanting to read. So I picked this up. And last but not least, Night of a Thousand Boyfriends by Miranda Clark. This is as bad as it sounds. It is super cheesy, and I kid you not, it is a choose-your-own-adventure romance novel. I'm gonna blog about this later because it's just too funny not to tell you guys about. Basically, in this lovely book, some of the many options you have on your trips is get abducted by aliens, or get uh, mugged at the ATM machine, and one of my personal favorites, get tied up with your date after being abducted of course yes it's it's very bad but so funny moving on lastly to stuff that i have won recently i went to a poetry event at my library um and i was lucky enough to win perfect by ellen hopkins which is like so gorgeous i think this is the prettiest of the covers that she has i just love it so much so i'm super excited to read this i've read all of her books and i just adore all of them she's one of my favorite authors you're probably wondering why i'm wearing all this harry potter garb it's because i entered the potter games emmy pool and i ended up winning so i won a whole bunch of harry potter stuff um from the potter games it was very exciting i don't really watch tv the only tv show i watched that year really i'm watching more tv this year but um the only TV show I really watched was Glee, and so I didn't know like anything about the other TV shows, so I just guessed. I did a whole bunch of like research on Google and was like, who will win the Emmys? And then I just like made educated guesses and I ended up winning out of like the 136 people who entered, which was crazy. So I was able to get this awesome Gryffindor hat and um, I already had the scarf knitted for me by the lovely Mindy Scott. She's a author who wrote Freefall um which is a really good book so you should check it out so i won she knitted this for me i love it but yeah now i have the matching hat to go with it and i also got this cool hermione bookmark and hermione's wand pen duo it's not cool you open it and it turns into a pen very cool i love it and then my favorite thing that i got is the replica of hermione granger's wand it's so cool there's the little Ollivander sticker. So it's got the Ollivander box, which is actually really beautiful. Oops. It has like all this ribbon around it. And then there's like the little certificate of authenticity thingy. And then there's this cool ribbon. You pull back the ribbon and there's like this cushy velvet. And then there's the wand, <laughs> which is super gorgeous. It's not 100% accurate because in the book, the wand was only 10 inches long and this is like 14, but oh well. It's still super awesome. There's all sorts of like beautiful leaf detailing and the only problem is, is like there's this cheesy like trademark insignia right there and I'm like really you couldn't put it in a less conspicuous place like on the bottom here but whatever. You can cover it up with your hand. No one has to know. But yeah. Ha. Oh, it's so cool. So thank you so much to the Potter games for my awesome Harry Potter swag and yeah. That's all the stuff that I got in my mailbox this week. What did you guys get? And before I let you go, I just wanted to say that tomorrow marks my official blog anniversary, and there's going to be a whole bunch of giveaways from October 2nd to the 8th, one each day for my blog anniversary. So be sure to come back and check it out. There's going to be books and swag, and one of the giveaways is going to be hosted by Russell Haberman of the Haberman Press 
Um, he has an awesome blog. I'm going to link it down here for you guys to check it out. And so big thanks to him for sponsoring one of the giveaways. And a big thanks to you guys for making my first year blogging so super fun. Um, I cannot believe that I have like over 500 followers and that people actually bother to come by and read my blog and watch my videos and thank you so much. I love you guys.